Welcome back to the Big Ski family. Hey, we're dressed alike. <laughs> okay, Birds nothing wrong with that. Hey, guys, I know some of you are probably on like a self-quarantine lockdown. Do I have lipstick? Yeah. Awesome. Anyways, and we just want to share a little bit of really great news that happened a week and a half, almost two weeks ago. Well, it's about two weeks ago. Yes, we have a new grandbaby, as you may have seen on Instagram. Yes. But, uh, our daughter, Kyla, um, gave birth to a baby girl. It was so good. Yes. We were laying right here in this bed, yep. sleeping soundly, and all of a sudden we get a call, a text early in the morning. 7.30 in the morning is like, hey, my water broke at three this morning. So we jumped online, get a flight as fast as we can, hoping that maybe we can catch, you know, it's an all-day flight back there, so I was it is. gonna be shocked if I got there when the baby was, you know, coming. But we got there at 12:30 a.m. on really what would have been now a Monday morning, and about seven hours later, she was born. Yes. And home delivery, which went really, really well, wouldn't yes, you say? It was awesome. She did such a good job. So proud this of Kyle. This is my first time to attend a birth, other than my own. And so that was um, a unique experience. Is and it a lot more enjoyable it, not being? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Sometimes you're just wanting to like exchange her oh, situation. She's you know? such a professional, such a veteran. Oh, no, no. But no, Kyla, you're seeing your daughter her, you know, yeah. go through this trial and challenge, and yeah, she did a great job. And I could almost feel like what was going on with her. I just knew it was really a cool experience. But her husband Adam did such a good job coaching Adam. her. Adam. So and good. The midwives were great. And yeah. Yeah, they just had a, a whole lot of support there in the home. We had, out of our 11 children, not, uh, 10 of them were born at home. We tried with all 11, but Barrington uh, didn't work out as well. And so we needed to scoot over to the hospital, and the doctors were great enough to help us out. But 10 of our 11 were born at home, and we're just huge fans of that whole experience of having a natural childbirth in the home so wonderful it's powerful you just go from having your baby into your bed your children come see the new baby you have home cooked <clears> meal <throat> and you just recover and there's just no transition there's no getting in the car there's no packing up things it's, and travel. it's really great it's really precious and again i'm down it's not for everybody that's for I sure i mean if you're you that's need for to sure. be in a have a healthy you know there are people that have high risk pregnancies yeah. and need full support and they're, I mean, at hospital births and in no way do we dictate or, you know, want to try to speak in anybody's life about where they have their babies. But if you've ever questioned having a home birth and are like curious about it or whatever, do the research. There's a lot of great information out there and there's some phenomenal midwives and doulas that take this so seriously and they work really, they're high quality healthcare professionals depending on the state you're in and they can do a phenomenal job of making the birthing experience really special. Yeah. We were there, we were able to spend, I was able to spend about 48 hours there in Kentucky, um, loving on them and it was so fun to stand at the bottom of the stairs and hear this, <laughs> I'm sorry, it's first little cries of this little baby. Oh my word, I'm so excited, Janice just woke me up. And apparently a new little baby girl has arrived. Can you hear that? It's my newest grandbaby. A darling granddaughter. Her name's Cosette Wren Van Wingerden. That's a mouthful, but Cosette Wren. And she was, um, just to hear those little cries, you know, it's like a new life. Being born and just six pounds, eight ounces. Yes, yeah. twenty-one and a half inches long, healthy, long, graceful little fingers. Just the most precious little one. I mean, she's just wonderful. And and again, so much fun to see uh, Ken and Grace, who uh, are Adam's parents, there with his siblings, who are the new aunt and uncles and brand new grandparents for the very first time. It was so awesome to see them and just to see the motion overwhelm Ken. I, I so identify with that and Grace as they were looking on that little one. Yeah, she's, yeah. she's, she's perfect. She's perfect. Oh, she's so, 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 she's
She's like, hi, Lila. She's sweet. That's so, what Adam said. She, she got his dimple, though, on the right side, at least, she's for sure. beautiful. Look at her tiny little nose. So it's just so wonderful to be there and to see the love and support from all sides of the family. And yeah. then I um, typically will stay for one week at the child's home afterwards and just be of support in whatever I way, way I can, helping with nursing and food and whatever. You don't, you don't nurse the baby. Uh, no. Helping them. She's a good nurse coach. Yeah. Coach with oh, yeah. nursing. Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> and the reason why I do that is because that was modeled to me from Chad's mother, my dear friend, uh, Paula. And she did that for most of my children. And yes. it's such a blessing. And it's yes. amazing when you've had love bestowed to you, you understand how you can give that to somebody else. Yeah. And so yeah. it's... Um, Really, really awesome. Janice was able to be there. I flew home. Kelsey was able to fly out our third born daughter right under Kyla and she was able to be there um, and, and be a support. But Janice is a secret weapon when you've had a baby in the sense that she's been there and done that and knows the different things to watch for and look for and to help and to um, just picks up the loads of laundry and able to make meals and just provide that support. Even watching the little baby wife. The, the parents get rested because both Adam and Kyla labored all night together really pretty hard. <laughs> yeah, they were pretty wiped out. So anyways, it was a special, special time. And it, again, it's so neat the way the Lord works. You know, he blessed us with children. And now we're in this new stage of life where we're very much in the parenting role. I mean, we have a seven-year-old and we have a nine-year, you know, a 10-year-old and an 11-year-old, but we are in the position now of loving on the grandchildren. And it is only getting richer and deeper and more fulfilling and we're just really, really grateful. Anyways, today, as you're in your home, I hope that, you know, some of you are, again, being quarantined and saying, hey, stay home. I'm hoping you're finding this investment, this time in your family really, really rich. And uh, just want to encourage you to invest and, and love on one another. Because at the end of the day, when you think about it, we come and go a lot. We do work. We do play. But at the end of the day, it's these key relationships. Our relationship with the Lord, our relationships with our spouses, our relationships with our children, grandchildren, if you have them, and, and then reaching out to the community, our neighbors and friends. And uh, anyways, people are what it's all about. I just love you and welcome to another phenomenal week. And we look forward to touching base next week. Okay. Mwah.